That's what this is exactly. Ah, uh, here it is. A secret compartment. Clever. What? There's a secret compartment? What do you mean? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gaming Panda. Today we are playing some more of the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys didn't check out the last episode, make sure you guys go do that. As it was crazy, we got to figure out the prophecy and we found out that, spoilers coming in soon, that we will be a bad guy. That has never happened in a Pokemon game before. We have never been a bad guy, but apparently we might be. But here is the team that we're rocking with so far. We have Rushmore at level 56 holding the hard stone with Power Gem, Stealth Rock, Headbutt, Rock Slide. We have Spyro at 57 holding the Charcoal with Slash, Fire Fang, Flamethrower, Dragon Rage. We have Elsa at 56 holding the Leftovers with Calm Mind, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Ice Shard. We have John at 55 holding the Life Orb with Bulk Up, Knock Off, Strength, Wake Up Slap. We also have Melody at level 55 holding the King's Rock with Roost, Uproar, Synchronoise, and Echoed Voice. And finally, we have Demix at level 55 holding the Seat Incense with Psy Shock, Water Spout, Charge Beam, and Brine. I did not train these Pokemon um, in between episodes, but I did train some of our box Pokemon. Uh, nothing really impressive happened with those guys. No one evolved or anything. Just some levels on them, so that way, just in case, I don't have to grind too much. But I'm pretty sure we are completely done with the library now. So we can go over here right no that's the cave of steam did we oh here i'll even put it in your delta snorlax book of leaves for you yeah so i did find that that book right and i think that's what that was for right yeah this book of leaves and we ended up getting the winter leaf very cool that's very nice so that tells me that there's a Delta Pokemon who uses these leaves. Um, I'm curious to see who it is, which Pokemon actually gets it. All right, so let's see, what route is this? Route eight. Okay, so we do get a brand new encounter here. Looks like we have to go through this maze, it seems like. There are trainers as well. There's a quick ball down there. Let's see anything over here. There's a rare candy. Is that a rare candy? That is a rare candy. Let's go. Look at that. Great eyesight. Um, anything around here? Nothing. Hidden grottos maybe? I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead, face this trainer, see what he's all about. And if... Wait. There is a hidden grotto on this route apparently. I've been searching for ages. I wish I knew what I was looking for. Alright. Like I was going to say before... Before this man rudely interrupted me, if there's anything interesting or something bad happens on this route, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so we ended up getting our encounter here. It's a Wigglytuff. Okay. Um, not sure how to feel about that. I mean, it's a Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff could be kind of good, I guess. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball, see what happens. Let's see if we can catch it first ball. Got one shake. Uh, okay. Uh, so it's not going to be as easy as that Marowak. So it has double slap. Double slap could be pretty good. Um, let's go for a headbutt. It's not stab or anything. Goes for disable. This shouldn't KO. It doesn't. does about a little more than half. Um, let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball. We got plenty of those. Let's see got one shake two shake three shake Ooh, that was close that was close that was close um i think we can just go ahead and throw another one of those let's throw a great ball maybe that will work this wiggly tough is being a little bit harder to catch than i would like it to one two three come on come on wiggly tough at least Double Slap's not doing too much, because we're a rock type and all, but still. I would really like to catch this thing, because there might be something different with Wigglytuff. And these, of, a lot of these fan-made games, they make some of these weaker Pokemon a lot 
better. So Wigglytuff might have a buff in this game, who knows. We did catch the Wigglytuff, we gained some XP and everything. And it's normal fairy still. Let me come up with a name for a female Wigglytuff though. All right, I think we're gonna go with Sprinkles here. You know, it's a fairy type, a female, it's pink. Come on, it's Sprinkles. We can go ahead and check out Sprinkles later. Not sure how to get that quick ball though. Cause I don't think we can fit between those trees over there. That's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue on the route. If I find that hidden grotto, we're grabbing that Pokemon that's in there. Hopefully it's a Pokemon at least. Okay guys, so it does seem like we have a bit of a situation here. There is a Snorlax and I'm guessing we're gonna need to go find the Poke Flute. But there is still this rest of this route over here. Let's go ahead and check out the house first. This shouldn't take too long for the rest of the route. This is already a pretty long route. Ever since the Pika Taxi guy became popular, nobody really needed really needed HM02 anymore. I'd sell it to you, but I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to pay it. You can just have it for free. We got Fly. We finally got Fly. Who needs the Pika Taxi guy now? Ha ha ha. We got Fly. Very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and face this lady real quick. And let's see, what is she gonna throw out here? Uh, it's an Ace Trainer though. And an Ampharos, okay. So it's a good thing we let off with Rushmore. And did she have two Pokemon? I'm not sure if he, she did or not, so I'm just gonna go for a Rock Slide instead of Stealth Rocking. Goes for Cotton Guard, all right. I guess Rock Slide's not gonna do too much at this point, so let's go ahead and go for Power Gem. Goes for Discharge, this shouldn't do too much. We get He gets the para though, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Um, okay, one more power gem should just take it out. This charge still does a lot though. Oh wait, I forgot Rushmore is not ground type, it's pure rock. Oh man, okay, here comes a Sceptile. Uh, Sceptile should easily be taken care of by Spyro. Spyro should be able to take care of Rush, of Sceptile, no, no problem. Okay, here comes out the Sceptile. It's not Mega, so or it could be Mega, but only Mega Sceptile is a Dragon type. So it goes for Slam. That's fine. Flamethrower should just one shot, and it does. We got a crit. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we beat the Sceptile and we beat the Trainer. All right, and she's calling me a cheater, huh? You, you think I cheated? Well, that's that's it's a big accusation there. Uh, no, I don't want to use another repel. Whoa, that's an ability capsule. Ability capsule could be really good. Um, there was one Pokemon that I was thinking of that we have that would greatly benefit from an ability capsule. I completely forgot who it was. But we need to get Rushmore out of the first slot. And let's put, um, let's put Spyro up there. Sure, why not? Spyro can handle being number one. It's still pretty fast, right? I haven't seen this hidden grotto yet. I'm assuming it's going to be behind the this lake over here because there's another route down there or a city or something. Yep, it's right up there. There's the hidden grotto. Could have had a Corphish. Corphish, that's a pretty good Pokemon actually. Crawdon, Water Dark type. It's very nice actually. So let's go ahead and see what is in this hidden grotto. Alright, there's a small opening in the tree. Will we follow it? Yes, we will. And what do we have here? No way. No way. That's a... What is that? It looks like a Delta Pokemon, but I have no clue what the heck it is. Um... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save right before it, because I'm, I'm... I wanna catch this thing. Oh, it looks like a Grass type. Is that a Munchlax? That's a Munchlax. Oh my god, Delta Munchlax. It looks like a grass type? Is it like grass ground? Maybe it's like a Torterra. Because it, it's got trees on its back, you know? It's like, it's grass ground maybe? That could be really cool. One, two. Ooh, we almost had it with a quick ball there. It has absorb, okay? So it's definitely a grass type, 100%. I'm just wondering if it's a ground type or not. I can't really hit it. There's no way I can actually hit this thing. 
Um, I guess we just have to keep throwing Pokeballs? Let's throw a Great Ball. I can't hit it. Even with Dragon Rage, I don't think it has 40 HP. Two shakes, three shakes. We got it. Let's go. We got the Delta Munchlax. That is crazy. Munchlax was like one of the last Pokemon I was expecting to have a Delta type. It's pure grass. This Pokemon lays in the field all day after eating, absorbing nutrients from the sun. Wow. Male Delta Munchlax. What do I name this thing even? Alright guys, we got a name. We got Lorax here. He speaks for the trees. Lorax. There we go. He speaks for the trees. There we go. We got Lorax. Wow, that is crazy. I was not expecting a Delta Munchlax at all. Okay now. I I guess let's just go on to the next route. That's crazy. Delta Munchlax. That is not what I was expecting at all. Alright, here's another core fish. We can get away from that thing real quick. Um, are we gonna go to another town? Or oh, I mean I guess we kinda have to. Yeah. Mirara town. Miria town. Mirara town. Ah, Miri. Mi Miara Town. We're gonna call it Miara Town. Miara Town, my favorite place in Torin. This looks like an abyssal cult lady. What a lovely, lovely town. It's peaceful scenery and built over the shining air sea. And of course, the Whirl Islands now rest just a route of way. It's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, I'll leave this town for last. At last, the sea is awakening once more. It's time to bring its king his crown. Ooh. So I'm guessing we're about to go take on the Abyssal Cult after this, right? Because, I mean, Whirl Islands, I don't even know what Whirl Islands is, but it's close by. <laughs> That's all I got. But uh, let me go ahead and explore the town and see what's around. Okay, this lady seems to be giving us something. Ultra Balls. Okay, Ultra Balls, very handy, very nice. And this Sun Flora was holding a Dawn Stone. Oh, we might need that. Wait, hold on. I feel like we have a Pokemon that evolves with a Dawn Stone, right? No, no, we don't. Never mind, never mind. I was mistaken. I thought the Curlia evolves into Gallade, but we already have the Guard War. I, I, nope, never mind. I messed up. Okay, so I found this massive building. I have no clue what it is. And what is this? Welcome to the Town Museum. The entrance fee is 500. Well, I mean, I'm assuming I have to go here. It's going to be like Team Aqua, Team Magma stuff, right? Like how it was back then. I guess let's talk to everyone on this floor. Hello, I'm the Fossil Mania. Guess what? I'll be pleased to punch... As punch to revive your fossil. What do you say? Do you want me to revive a fossil? Ooh! So we can finally re revive one of the fossils we got. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay, let's look at the fossils we have here. I have no idea which one to do. Where are my fossils? Here are my fossils in here, right? We have the helix fossil, armor fossil, claw fossil, or dome fossil. Oh, man. What I really want, though, I kind of want an aerodactyl, to be honest. That way we get a flying type. We also have a rock type, but he can also learn dark type moves and ghost type is a big problem for my team right now. I have nothing that can super effectively hit it except for um, Machamp with its knockoff, but like it's not, we don't count that. And it has a Mega. That's really the big thing. It has a Mega. And I feel like we might be able to get its Mega Stone here. But I don't know. I think we're going to hold off on getting our our fossil just yet. Because I feel like there's got to there's be someone who gives me a fossil in here, right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Looks like I got the plume fossil. Because like in these in these museums and stuff, they, there's always people giving you stuff, right? Like there's got to be someone who gives you all the fossils that you're missing. So we just got the plume fossil. Someone else has got to give me like an a old amber or something, right? Oh, I'd love to see a Kabutops before it became a fossil or an Aerodactyl. So I'm guessing if we show him one of those two, he'll give us something. Okay. 
Um, this guy's just an artist, right? It's good to know. There's another floor down here, though, so let's go down here. See what's going on here. There's a rich boy. What's the rich boy got? Alright, rich boy is talking about the blue orb. It's in the museum. Okay. It's hard to believe it ended up here. Yeah, it kind of is. It really is. Okay, what is this guy? I'm sorry, but it, but this blue orb was donated to by a spine spon sponsor. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and take a look at this blue orb. This orb has quite the history. It's powered Kyogre back in the days of the beginning of the universe. It was also involved in the Aqua Hoenn conflict 50 years ago. The Hoenn takes place 50 years ago? Like, the game where Kyogre and stuff happens? That's 50 years ago? Oh my god. It was used by Archie to revert Kyogre to, into its primal form. Oh wait, no. This is... Oras. Oras takes place 50 years ago. Because it's talking about primal forms. Primal Kyogre wasn't a thing back in Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire, though. Oh my god. It was generously donated to us by someone who wishes to remain... Oh, no way. Ah, uh, hello, miss. I was just in a speech about this orb. Perhaps you... Oh, no... Sorry, I'm only here for the relic. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I can't save it. Let's make this easy on both of us. I'm sure you you know of the Abyssal Cult. You mean the terrorists? Are you trying to intimidate me? Well, yes, actually, I'm kind of a murderer. Wow. She straight up just goes, I'm a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be, it'd be easier for both of us if you, if you just move. You don't even look like one of their members. That's because I'm not. I'm the leader. Oh, snappy doodles. Wow, okay. Thank you. Wow, he straight up just moved. He's like, nope, we're done. <laughs> what What do you plan to do with it? Well, you tell me. What could the leader of the Abyssal Cult possibly want with an artifact of Lugia? Wait, what? Wait, no. That You're wrong. I mean, that's, what, the title bell or something like that, right? This is the blue orb. The blue orb is for Kyogre. I thought you were Abyssal Cult. You should know this, right? You, you must want to summon it. Wait, what? The blue orb is Kyogre's artifact, not Lugia's. That's what I'm saying. That's what this exactly. Ah, here it is. A secret compartment. Clever. What? There's a secret compartment? What do you mean? It's hard to believe the title bell was this easy to find. The title bell? But, but, please... Why, you wouldn't want some cheap plastic bell when Lugia is resting underne underneath it. But that's the blue orb. It's the legendary artifact of Kyogre. You're absolutely right. But that's not the orb. A fake. How do you know? How do you know that the bell was there? The best place to hide something is in plain sight. Nobody would think to look for a bell under next to a fake orb. Oh my god, she's exposing this museum right here and right now. And well, this cheap plastic ball here, I donated it. Oh, she played him so hard. Why? Well, what do you think? She's a bad guy. Wow, those are some slow dots right there. Well, as the leader of the Abyssal Cult, everyone assumes I'm after Kyogre. Naturally, people don't want me getting my hands on the blue orb. Having a copy that's in a garden museum, well, that's a better way to make everyone think I don't already have it. Oh my god, she had it from the beginning. And I don't think I've, I haven't noticed you there, Panda. You're the one that Mew chose. You want to stop me? Bring it. I'll be waiting. To the south of Mira, Miara lies the current location of the World Islands. When you're ready to lose, just stop on by. Oh my god! She knew your name, just exactly who are you? I need to report this incident to my superiors. Oh man, I'm, this is gonna be so terrible. Oh, snappy doodles. What the heck? Okay, let's finish talking to everyone, I guess. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you for visiting. Wait, I wasn't done yet. I wanna go back and talk to the fossil dude. Don't tell me I have to pay 500 again. I have to pay 500 again. Okay, fine, be that way. Where's the fossil dude? Okay. 
what are we doing? We are going to revive a fossil here and now. The dome fossil is for Kabutops. Helix fossil for Lord Helix. Uh, claw fossil for Ar Ar Armaldo. Armor fossil. What is armor fossil? What is what is the armor fossil? Oh, shield on. And then plume fossil for Tortuga. Ooh. I'm kind of leaning towards Armaldo. I kind of like... No, I, I can't do that to Lord Helix, though. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to waste another $500. I'll let you guys choose in the comments down below. So make sure you guys comment down below which one, which fossil you guys want me to use. Whether it be Lord Helix or some other thing. I'm guessing that's the cave towards the World Islands. There was one more building that I didn't go in yet and I want to save for you guys here. I have no clue what this is. What is this? There's so many people just standing around here. Okay, let's talk to you. What are you? Me? Oh no, I have nothing to trade. I'm just here for the fantastic culture exchange. Oh, this is that this is that trading area. Oh. I probably have the rarest Pokemon in the building, a Delta Pokemon. It's a coughing. If you want to trade for it, I'll need something valuable in return. How about a pseudo legendary Pokemon? Or at very least one of their pre evolutions. Ooh. Oh, Delta coughing. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. All right. What do I. I need to look up what the pseudo legendary Pokemon actually are. Okay, so the pseudo legendaries are the Dratini line, Larvitar line, Bagon line, Beldum line, Gibble, Dino, Gumi, Jangmo, and Dreepy line. So, this game came out before Sun and Moon, so Dreepy and Jangmo are out of the question. Um, there's Dratini, Larvitar, Bagon, Beldum, Gibble, Dino, and Gumi left. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I've seen a Gumi somewhere. I feel like I've seen a Gumi. So, on the next episode, we... I'm gonna go ahead and finish checking out all the rest of these trades here. My Haunter for your Vigoroth, okay. Um, I'm only going to accept one of these trades that, yeah, so the Delta Pokemon is going to be my trade, but Atropius for a Vibrava, okay. Um, would you like to trade Pokemon with me? I don't really want my Slugma anymore, I'll accept any Pokemon for it. Okay, so we could have a Slugma, a Machoke for Beedrill, we can't do that, we already have our selves, Machop, Machamp, my bad. Um, somebody here wants to trade a Delta Pokemon, isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's cool and all. This is the guy who has nothing to trade. Alright, so this is the lady we're going to be trading with, but we need to first find ourselves a Dratini, Larvitar, Bagon, Beldum, Gibble, Dino, or Gumi, or their evolutions before we can do this trade. So by the next episode, I will have one of these Pokemon caught and in my party ready to trade, and... Uh, there was one more thing. I was We're going to choose which fossil we want to revive. So let me know down in the comments below which fossil we should revive out of what fossils do we have. We have the... We have the dome fossil, the claw fossil, the armor fossil, the helix fossil. Or the plume fossil. Alright? One of the oh no, plume fossil is for Archaeops, not for not for Tortuga like I thought. My bad. Okay, so we can either get an Archon, we could get Lord Helix, we could get a Kabu Kabuto, yeah Kabuto. We could get a a um Armaldo. We could get a, a Shellgon, not Shellgon. Shield on. Shield on for the armor. Kabutops for the dome. So, you know, just. You know what the fossils are, right? I mean, come on. Alright, so. Tell me what fossil you guys 
want me to revive in the comments down below and that's gonna end the episode here i want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys leave a like subscribe turn on those post notifications and i'll see you guys next time peace